Hey guys. <laughs> All right, I'm, I need a break. I'm working a lot, uh, and every every so often, I actually put an alarm on every 20 minutes and make sure I stand up and stretch because you, know, you can't just be doing this all day. Let me show you a few foam rolling exercises that actually makes you more um, productive, that gets you a good reset. Think about resetting your body, just like you reset your phone or refresh your Internet Explorer. So check this out. All right, the first stretch, I think we all do this, is the um, thoracic extension stretch. So basically we're trying to extend the thoracic spine, which is around your chest, right? Big inhale, uh, exhale, go down. Release. And go inhale, move one vertebra up, exhale, down, and inhale, exhale down. All right, you can even bring your arms up, inhale, exhale down. And drop one side more than the other. It's really good because again, when we're working on the computer, we're really round, right? The shoulders and the spine, so you really want to reset that and do the reverse. The next one would be the lumbar spine. So that's between L1 to L5, so lower back. L is for lumbar. So L1 to L5, start from the top. One vertebrae is about two fingers wide. Inhale, exhale, drop down. Slightly move back. If you can't really handle the pressure in your lower back, inhale, exhale. Drop the tailbone down as low as you can. And again, slow move, inhale, exhale, drop down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. So, something I like to do too is drop my knees from to one side, Woo. and then the other. All right. Next would be the glutes and hamstrings. So just do that as one, just because of the time constraint here. So glutes would be right side. I just like to keep myself stable by putting my arms down. I'm just doing on the right glute here, rolling side to side. All right. If that's too much pressure in your one. Good. Then you can do both glutes, or then you can shift to the other side. It's really good way to wake you up and pump blood around that system there, or that area there, muscles. And obviously, you can also do the hamstrings one at a time if you want, nice and slow, or both legs if you can't do that. One of my favorites is the calf foam roller, or foam rolling the calves, or rolling on the calves. <sighs> Long day, obviously, guys. So if you want more pressure on the calves, put one leg on top of the other. Ooh, you can definitely feel that. And then obviously you can turn the foot in and out or the other way to hit different parts of your calves. One thing I like to do as well is the side. So that's the anterior tibialis, which is the front. Yes, I'm smart by using fancy names. The real name of the muscles. All right, and then obviously you do the other side as well. All right, so I hope that helped. So I pretty much did everything on my back from uh, my thoracic spine all the way down to the calves, right? One thing, last, last tip is that sometimes I just like to put it on my back and just lean back into it so you have a really good posture. I hope that helped, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And remember, get your foam rollers from Holy Fit. Thanks, guys.